everybody, so today's video is going to be a demonstration of a low back uh, release technique. Um, and it's really important again that um, what we're trying to do is generate a little bit of movement and mobilization through the spine in order to decrease uh, discomfort, stiffness, um, and help you improve your range of motion. So with any of our routines, it's really, really helpful for us to check our range of motion. So just standing, what I want you to do is just ever so gently go as forward as you can. So if this is as far as you go, that's fine. And then back up. If you're able to go further, you can go further. Hands on the back of your hips, kind of bending back, checking side to side, rotations. And just getting a sense of how easy is it for me to move? What do I feel happening in my body? Do I feel um, tight? Do I feel loose? Uh, can I move to one side more than to the other? And just kind of gathering up information about how you feel before because we're going to compare um, afterwards. So for this routine, you're going to need a towel. And I would suggest that you maybe get two different size towels. So I have one that's kind of, you know, like one of the smaller kind of hand towels. Um, because everybody's going to need um, a different support underneath their back. And then I'm just going to roll it up basically into a roll like this, right? Or you can take a, another towel, and again, you could see this one's a little bit larger. So it's just gonna depend on how much support and how much ability you want to be able to move over the towel. Now, since I have good range of motion and I feel like I wanna move a little bit more, I'm gonna use uh, the bigger towel. So what we're going to do is we're gonna lay down on our back and we're gonna be placing the towel kind of at the line where a belt would be. So if you had your pants on and you put a belt around, you're gonna kind of aim it for kind of the top of the pelvis um, when you lay down. And you may need to adjust um, once you lie down the positioning. So basically what we're going to do um, first is what I call pelvic tilts. So I want you to imagine there's a bowl of water sitting on top of your tummy bowl of water, okay? And we're going to move forward and back like we're trying to pour the water either toward our face or down between our legs. And so we're gonna move the pelvis, so basically gonna move up and move down. So basically my bum is aiming to go down toward the floor and then I'm kinda lifting my bum up, almost like a mini bridge. And I'm just gonna ever so gently rock back and forth, back and forth, nice and easy. Again, this isn't about um, going into your most extended range of motion. I want the movements to be small and in a relatively pain-free range of motion. We don't wanna teach our body more pain. We just wanna help our body start to move ever so slightly and then we can build upon that so going back and forth back and forth good now we're going to bring our feet closer together our knees are going to be touching and we're ever so slightly going to rotate our knees left to right Nice and slow. So you can see I'm definitely not going into my full, right? I'm not going into my full range of motion. I'm just moving a couple of degrees one way, a couple of degrees the other way. And I'm just noticing as I'm moving how my body's feeling, how the pressure on the towel changes, how my knees are moving, pelvis is moving. And of course, I'm taking nice, slow breaths. Good. Now, I'm gonna bring my feet just a little bit apart and we're just gonna open and close our knees. Nice and slow. Again, I'm not going 
you know, into my full range. I'm just staying in a very comfortable range of motion that just feels really effortless to move. And as you open and close, I want you to pay attention to the feeling of what's happening where the towel is. Can you notice how your pelvis moves as your knees open and close? Good, taking some breaths. Good, couple more. And then we're gonna slide our feet forward and back. So we're gonna do one leg at a time. So right leg's gonna slide forward nice and slow and slide back, forward, and back. And again, as I'm moving, I'm just checking in to see how it feels as my leg straightens and bends in my back. Can you feel the pressure change on the towel? Good, now we're gonna switch to the left leg, sliding forward and back. And again, just noticing what you feel in your body. How does moving the left leg feel compared to when you move the right? And just appreciating the movement in your body. Good. Now we're going to come back and we're going to come back to a couple of open and closes. Good. Now feet together, a little bit of rotating. side good feet apart and we're going to finish off with a little bit of tilting as if we're kind of like a rocking chair going over the towel up and down back and forth good and then we're going to take the towel away might just take a little moment laying here and just appreciating how our body feels in this moment and then we're just gonna roll over to our sides push up into a sitting onto the knees and then we're gonna easily stand up and once we're standing again just kind of taking a moment to appreciate ourselves in standing and then let's check our range of motion forward hands on the hips back side to side and rotation and again we're comparing how easy is it to move do i feel like i can move further than i moved before um does it feel equal on both sides? The, the, do the muscles feel a little more relaxed? And then using that as a comparison. If you notice a small change from before and after, even if it's a small change, like, okay, yeah, maybe I have a little bit more range of motion, that's a really, really good sign that this may be a useful technique for you to kind of continue, uh, maybe once or twice a day, um, as you're slowly gaining back your range of motion. Nothing happens very, very quick. Um, so it's kind of checking to see if the practice works for you. If the practice works, then you keep practicing. If it doesn't work, then you try something else. Anyways, I hope the video was helpful and I look forward to creating some more new content for you. Take care.